All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Elden Ring. A game that I've been looking forward to playing since I found out it existed a few weeks ago. I'm way out of the loop on this stuff. From Software made Bloodborne and the Dark Souls game, and they made games, and they made Elden Ring as well. Look at that music. It gets me ready. I actually have basically played no Dark Souls in my life, but I did play through all of Bloodborne using the same rules we're going to be using today. So in Elden Ring, or sorry, on the channel in One Game One Life, every character gets one life, which means if my character dies, I have to start all over from the beginning. You can see how that's a problem in a game from From Software. Well, when I played Bloodborne, it took me about nine characters before I finally beat the game without dying once. And I'm hoping that Elden Ring, you know, doesn't put us too high over that number, but if you want to see a playthrough from beginning to end with the same character, unfortunately this is not the one, but if you want to be in it with me where every life counts and you really have to buckle down and you can't allow yourself to make any mistakes, hardcore survival in and from software game, then that is what I offer you and I hope you'll join me for this ride. Let's go ahead. Uh, I did go to system, changed the um, device for on-screen prompts to keyboard and mouse right here, and I changed a couple of key bindings that made more sense. This was on X, I believe. Control is much more, is much easier and more intuitive for crouching and standing up. It's in a lot of games like Cyberpunk, um, Skyrim, Fallout, a lot of games that you know, you're used to having the crouch option, it's always control, so I made that myself. I switched the switch sorcery and switch items to shift and tab, or on my mouse I have a couple buttons for those as well. And use item, I think that's already where it was, I think those are the only changes I made. Movement control is alt, I don't know what that means. Let's put that on caps in case that's important. Uh, I can't put it on caps, that's not an option. Press while moving to walk. Got it. So I can alt to walk. That's interesting. Um. Okay. I can hold alt to walk, I guess. Whoops. No, that's not what I wanted. Shoot. That's E. This wasn't anything, was it? Oh, come on. Let's just make this like I. Or O, P, something way far away. I didn't want to set that to anything. There, good. R can reset the assignments there. Alright, and otherwise I think we're set to go, so let's go ahead and hit back. And let's jump into a new game of Elden Ring. I have some idea what to expect. I've seen a couple of highlights from a couple streamers like Moist Critical. Um... Actually, that's all I've seen. I've seen Moist Critical play for uh, about a 20-minute video. So I kind of know what the gameplay looks like. Uh, <laughs> but that's about it. Adjust the brightness. Uh, until the image on the right is barely visible, it's always visible. I can see it on any setting. Um, maybe we go down just one and then roll with that. Uh, this should all be fine. Camera speed, sure. Set of okay. Okay. Ah! Okay, hold up. What are we looking at? Vagabond, warrior, hero. Hero looks, hero looks kind of sick. Uh, prisoner, confessor, wretch. <laughs> what is this? Pretty sure that's what Moist Critical had on in his video, actually. He had a big, like, big bell thing on his head. Samurai, Prophet, Astrologer, that was kind of sick, Bandit, okay, and then we're back around, the Wretch is kind of like, oh, what is it, Bloodborne had something where you started out as a naked person with terrible stats, that's probably what that is, uh, I don't know the stat lines, is there a way I can see the stats, Samurai looks cool, no, stop, back, Q? Back, okay. Show status? Now we're talking. Okay. Yeah, the wretch is 10 across the board, level 1. Okay. Confessor has high mind. I don't really know what these things do. Faith? I don't know what those things are either. Help? 
explanation? Oh, here we go. Good, 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 good. This is what I wanted. Okay. Arcane. Attribute discovering discovery. Also affects holy defense, vitality, and certain sorceries and incantations. So holy defense and vitality and stuff. Okay. Faith. Attribute required to perform sacred incantations. Also boosts magic power of faith scaling incantations. Attribute required to perform glintstone sorceries. Also boosts magic power of intelligence scaling sorceries. Improves magic resistance. That sounds like something I'd like. Dexterity, wield advanced armaments. Also boosts attack power of dexterity scaling armaments. Reduces casting time of spells. Softens fall damage and makes it harder to be knocked off your horse. That all sounds really good. Strength, heavy armaments. Strength scaling armaments affects your physical defense. Um, probably not going to be going all strength. I, I did like the dexterity build of Bloodborne and I, I did enjoy that a lot. I tried out a bunch of things in Bloodborne, but that's really what I stuck with. Endurance. Attribute governing stamina also affects robustness. This attribute also determines how heavy your equipment can be. Mind. Determines FP also affects focus. Vigor affects HP. So is FP like our force points? Like our magicka? Our mana? Affects focus. I don't know what focus is. Uh, affects fire. Maybe that's like not getting knocked out of your spell, maybe? Affects fire resistance and immunity and governs HP. Okay. Prisoner is level 9. Really even across the board. Uh, how do I get rid of the help thing, now that I know what it means? There we go. Very high in intelligence and dexterity, actually. Maybe I go prisoner. Those are kind of the two stats I just said I was interested in. Samurai has very high dexterity, not so much intelligence. Prophet has not at all what kind of stuff I'm looking for. That's that's the faith. That's if you're trying to go the, like the religious build, almost. 16 Intelligence, 12 Dexterity, 15 Mind, starts at level 6, which is a little weaker, but I do like Astrologer. That looks pretty good, actually. Let's see the other options. Bandit, 13 Dex, starts at level 5. Hero, Vigor, Endurance, and Strength. Oh yeah, this is the guy who's going in hard, going in heavy. I, I do like that. Warrior, 16 Dexterity, very evened out, actually. A bit of everything there. Vagabond. High on Vigor, high on HP, Strength, Dexterity. He's an all-rounded warrior, basically. Uh, yeah, so it's either Prisoner. I'm looking at Prisoner and Astrologer, I think. He's level 9. Kind of all over the place. Astrologer's level 6. High Mind, Dexterity. 9 Vigor to 11 Vigor. Hmm... Endurance 11, Strength 11. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll just base it on look, and Prisoner looks <laughs> goofy and ridiculous. So let's go with Astrologer. Uh, type A, Type B. Is Type B woman? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, uh, you know what? We'll be a man. I'm usually... I'm usually a... a female character when we play games, but we'll go with this. Let's go typo. <laughs> Generation 1. Buff body, slender body. Let's go with slender body. Age is young. Astro yeah, astrologer. Keepsake. What is a keepsake? Pass has been well and left truly behind. Crimson, amber, medallion. Increases maximum HP. Oh, so this is helping us. Giving us a little extra boost. Okay. Lands between rune. Gold to grace. Okay, used to gain many runes. In the eyes of the people of lands between. And runes are blood points or whatever we had in Bloodborne, I believe, for leveling up. Golden seed, said to reinforce sacred flasks. So that's, I believe that makes our healing potion better. Fanged imp ashes. Ashes are said to hold spirits within. Okay, I don't know what that is. Cracked pot, a container for certain throne items. No, I'm good. Stone Sword Key. There's a key. I remember the famous key of Dark, so Dark Souls opened something and made the game way easier, but I don't remember what. Breaks the seal on imp statues, but can only be used once on imp statues. Again, I don't know what these imp statues and ashes are. I guess that's going to be an important part of the game. Bewitching Branch, said to originate from the demigod Michaela. Okay. Again, I don't know what that is. Boiled Prawn. Boosts physical damage negation. That tells me exactly what it does. Shabriri's Woe. Attracts enemies' aggression. Well, I don't want that. More HP and more experience are obviously good. Better Sacred Flask is obviously good. Um, I 
think we're gonna go with this just for our first character um, under the pretenses that we're not gonna survive this whole game without dying yeah I think that's the way to go because for our first character we want to have the room to make a couple of mistakes wait what did we just make ourselves a chick okay so slender body got it is girl got it okay choose base template um That looks sick. Way too pale, but that looks sick. Seafarer. Reedlander. Draconian. Nightfolk. Newman. Alright, hold up now. Yeah, hold up. Let's look at the northerner and then <laughs> try to change his skin color. Damn. That doesn't look bad. Uh, no, hold up. Uh, I keep forgetting Q is back instead of escape. That's really weird. Facial hair? Here we are. Kind of like a Viking, almost. We'll go with that for our first character. Can I test them out? Sample. Go with that. Alright. So I think this is us right here. Let's finish and see what the game has in store for us. We start out with a shield and a little staff thing, okay? Starting the game with this character, is that okay? Yep! We're going to be seeing that again in this playthrough. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Focus. And we'll see if I can beat my record in Bloodborne of only needing nine characters, but from what I'm hearing of, from people, this is probably harder than Bloodborne. Tell a story. shattered in our home across the fog the lands between now Oof. Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found And in the night of the Black Knives, Ooh. Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Yo, were they blood eagling him? What just happened right there? Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. And they get power for having just a shard, right? And then we gotta get all the shards? The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. This is actually a lot of story for a From Software game, I feel like. Like, I'm actually understanding kind of the setting here. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment. By the greater will. I'm assuming that's the god of this world. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead, who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Moralu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, 
the deathbed companion. That's weird, but okay, I'm here for it. The loathsome dung eater. <laughs> Weirder still. <laughs> and Sir Gideon Othnir. The all-knowing. Yeah, this is epic. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between we look like a villain <laughs> we look like a boss fight just waking up ready to fight us before the elden ring oh god I'm getting chills. This looks so good. I become the Elden Lord. That's me. Probably not this character, but we're gonna try. Damn it! Imagine. Oh man, here we are. Praise the Elden Ring. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. By the way, you don't have the right. Oh, <laughs> you don't have the right. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I think I just spent Magicka. Or Mana or whatever. No, man. Do I get that back? What happens when I run out of out of that why is it always tarnished why is it always tarnished that's a good question we're always like some half dead half alive thing still no head still no head I don't know what that means Pilled remains tarnished wizened finger okay can I check what that does uh, with the equipment menu you can equip armaments arrows bolts armor talismans and items you can equip up to three armaments each to your left and right hands the actions each armament performs will vary based on which hand is wielding it. Okay. Oh, we have a different sword. So this does always use Magicka, and this is our physical option. Got it. Okay, this scales C with intelligence. This is a D, D, yeah. We have a shield. Can we block? Like, is that a thing I'm supposed to, am I expected to do? Man, I will compare these stats more when we actually have something to compare them to. I mean, yeah, I guess. In Bloodborne, you're kind of taught never to block. This is probably something from Dark Souls that, as a game, I haven't ever really played. More than, like, for half an hour at a friend's house one time. I'm not going to be used to blocking. I should have tested out switching weapons first. Don't be a boss fight. Ugh, okay, okay. Touch Bloodstain. What do you do? Just jump off the edge? <laughs> Always trust people to do something like that. We have Pebble and Ark, apparently. And nothing there. Okay. Uh, how do I switch weapons again? How do I switch armaments? I forgot how to switch my armaments. I'm sorry, I really am. Come on, system. I need to know how to do these things. Okay. Shift scroll. That's weird. Can I just can I just scroll instead? There we go. There. The mouse wheel can switch our armaments. That'll be much better. There we go. Okay, yeah, a bunch of people died by falling off. Oh man, look at this. I feel threatened just being here. I love these games because of this. Bloodborne had the same feeling. Be wary of death, damn straight. Behold, great tree. Oh! I actually missed that. Yo! How did I miss that? I mean, I guess I kind of saw it, but that is that is a great tree. Whoa. I'm sorry if I'm going slow. Uh, I probably will. Precious item. Oh, what? Really? 
Block shut. Ah, okay, so there actually probably is something there. I just don't have it. Okay, so you can hold down the jump button to sprint. Liar ahead. Okay. Whoops. I just hit map on accident. With the map menu, you can check your current position and terrain and buildings in the surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Lastly, through your map, you can select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's a liar ahead, huh? Hidden path ahead? Got it. Thank you for letting me know he's a liar. Oh, okay, so G is map. That's weird that G is map, of all things. Okay. There is no hidden path. Okay. He's just trying to waste your time. Alright. Oh, what is this? Visions of snow? I guess. Alright, I guess it's time for us to push forward here and risk Typo's life. Let's have the magic staff out as long as we have magicka, mana, whatever. We need to figure out what they call that. Uh, good luck. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, no. Could this be something incredible? Is it? Why is it? Why does it have so many appraises? Am I supposed to cheer at it? Uh, how do I cheer? Multiplier menu. With the multiplier menu, you can use various multiplier items. If you set a group password, you'll be more likely to see messages, summon signs, bloodstains, phantoms, and so on from others using the same password. If you set a multiplier password, you'll only be matched with other players using the same password for most multiplayer features. However, multiplayer passwords do not apply to invasion multiplayer. No, dude. I don't want an invasion. Imagine that's how we lose our character after a lot of time. I don't know how to... Oh, here. Can I pump? Here we are. Just in case it does something. I don't think it did. I'm so, I'm so stupid. I'm so gullible. I'm the guy who listens to all the messages. Uh, and, and fails for it. Yeah, thanks for the good luck. I'm gonna stop appraising them all. Why is it always rump? What? Visions of enemy. Oh, God. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Our first enemy. What kind of enemy are we gonna get? Good luck. First off, look carefully. What did that say? And then well done. Okay. Turn back. Oh, everybody's like, watch out, dude. Is there anything around here? Item ahead. 43 appraisals. This did seem like something where there'd be an item, right? How did that guy get up there? Grass. Decoy ahead. Ah, oh, you all suck. I'm so gullible. I'm so gullible. High spot ahead? There was the higher area, too. How are you supposed to get up there? Probably not, right? Alright, I'm probably... <laughs> For the sake of the viewer here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward. Gotta move forward. Okay. Come on. Let's go, typo. This is it. Time for revenge? Time for revenge. I haven't had a first try yet. Oh, no. There's the boss door right there. Or right here? Oh, yep. Okay. Oh, God. You need to face forward for the entirety of it. Oh, God. Okay. Ah! He t it takes a lot of damage. This is the first fight. Let's make it count. Okay. How do I cast my incantations? Oh, God. No, no, no. I don't have a heal. Oh, God. I just realized I didn't have a heal. Oh, God. I don't know how we're going to win this one. Not happening. He's got a shield and everything. Looks like he takes half damage when he has a shield up. Oh, God. I think we're done. I think we're dead. I don't see us. I don't see us. No. I hope this is like a planned loss. There's kind of like one at the beginning of Bloodborne. Okay, sword out. Here we go. Let's give it our best shot. Did we lose health through the block? I think we... Or... I don't know. I don't know what happened. But we didn't die. I don't think. What just happened?
That was probably <laughs> not the best Elden Ring combat you've ever seen. I don't even know how to cast my spells. I was just using my weapon. Maybe I shouldn't do that and I should use my spells instead. I'm not sure. There we are. Still alive, I think. Is that my new buddy? I got a buddy? I know we're supposed to get a horse at some point. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. Hmm. Torrent. We found him here, after all. She's got a smooth voice, doesn't she? One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. The Golden Order. And so we're getting saved here, basically. This is our... You didn't die because she nursed you back to health situation. Or not. <laughs> we're still laying here. <laughs> We're not dead, though, clearly. Yeah, I think we started a little strong there. I think we still took a little damage through the shield. Which means I, I just don't want to block at all, then. Because if it's going to take health and stamina to block, I, why bother? Flask of Crimson Tears! Flask of Cerulean Tears! That's our Magicka regen? Maybe? Why is it always death? We didn't die. We didn't die. Cave of Knowledge lies below. Uh, yeah, but this guy thought it was like... Oh, it is kind of right there, isn't it? Who is this? Brave Tarnish, take the plunge. I'm okay. Of learning and remembrance. Yeah, learning and remembrance, not the physical plunge. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Well, I guess you could if you went down that way. Uh, I'll pass for now, though. Thank you. That sounds like something to do later. Praise the Elden Ring, yeah. Okay, so... Tab switches my spells. No, shift switches my spells. Okay. Cerulean Tears. Okay. Alright. Tree. True. I wish I could just hit G without having to hit confirm. Okay. Yeah. This is where we're supposed to be going, I'm pretty sure. What is up there? I just don't want to miss anything. That could give us an advantage. What is that? Talisman ahead and then seek Cliff. Man, and do we get there by going down this other way? I feel like we're going the wrong way by doing this, but no risk, no reward, right? Oh god. Ah! Okay. Careful, careful. We have Magicka again. Mana, whatever. Okay, that fall is something we can take. Where is this going? Sites of Grace. Resting at a Site of Grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. I guess I'll just call it FP until I know what that stands for. It will also refill your Sacred Flasks. However, most of the enemies you've defeated will be revived. You can find Sites of Grace by going where light converges. These explanations are acquired uh, in the form of info items can be accessed from inventory at any time. Okay. So they're, uh... What are they called? Bloodborne had this exact stuff. I just don't remember what they're called. Lost Grace Discovered. Okay, so now we have somewhere we can start back from if we need to. Is that an enemy? Okay, Q is our lock on. Oh, Jesus. Overkill, overkill. Oh yeah, it's time to figure out how to play. Yeah, victory ahead. Victory's the taking on all at once. 
Ja, ja, ja. Hey, hey. Maybe we should master melee combat while we have this freebie right here. You can memorize sorceries and incantations at Sites of Grace. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast in incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes SP FP. Right? But how do I do that? That's what's confusing me. Use an armament in your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Uh, guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Guarding consumes stamina. If your stamina runs out, your stance will be broken. Alright, let's test the block here. Oh, it does very little damage. Okay. So it's not awful, but it's it's not good either. You can avoid enemy attacks with dodge roll or backstep. Both these actions consume stamina. Correct. Oh, backstep. Oh, you can just space without a direction to backstep. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we don't need to use spells on these guys. Let's not waste our FP on that. Try... <laughs> okay, thanks guys. <laughs> oh, F. I have a jump button. Sick. Oh, Jesus. Hold up. Bad you. Stop it. How did that not hit him? Was I too far away? Hello? Thank you. This guy looks a little tougher. Alright, buddy. What do you got? Show me what you got. Oh, Jesus. That was not smooth. Got him. Okay. We're learning. We're learning. Materials. In every corner of the lands between, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. Materials can be used for craft. We have crafting? That was not in Bloodborne. Oh, boy. This sounds like a lot of acquiring gonna need to happen. This feels like more of a... I, I don't want to say complete game, but you get what I'm saying, right? A more well-rounded game than Bloodborne? Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments. We did read that, allowing you to toggle between them. Armaments could also be two-handed, making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting effective strength by 50%. Ooh. Okay, E plus one of the clicks to switch. Okay. Oh, buddy, here we go. Let's see it. Backstep on him? I want to try a backstep. Come on. Come on, try it out. Try and attack. I want to backstep on you. Alright, whatever. We'll try it on a different guy. I think he was just there to teach us how to uh, break shields. And if we switch, we get the shield back out. Interesting. What's up, guys? Okay, with two hands, it was doing 60. Six. Nah, I think I'd rather do one hand and just have the shield ready. Yeah. It does barely any more damage. The only only reason we'd go two-handed is to break a shield or something. Okay. So far, so good. Not getting any loot from these things, so maybe I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Went and dealt with that already. Uh, armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consumes FP. Okay, so we probably won't be using that too often, but... Good to know. Alright, I'm getting a better feel on the range here. Crouching. Crouch to make it hard... Oh, that's right. We have crouch. To make it harder for enemies to discover you. Especially effective in tall grass. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage than usual. Oh, it's time for sneak attacks. What a classic. Ooh. Oh, I'm all about that. That's going to help us survive a lot longer, I think. Near back to an enemy, critical hit, yeah. Oh, that is sick. Big fan of that. This feels great so far. This also feels very tutorial-y, which is usually from software. As far as I understand, it's not really a tutorial-y kind of thing. Stance breaking. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Hold shift plus click to charge attack. Shift 
plus... Okay, maybe I shouldn't have tab and shift be my switching my stuff. <laughs> shift click while jumping to a jump attack. Okay, let's try that. Oh! <laughs> let's try that again. There you go. We broke it, but I don't think we got a critical hit from that. Oh well. Upon dying, you'll be revived at the last site of grace you visited. Not us. When we die, we're dead. However, if there is a stake of Marika near where you died, you choose you can choose to be revived there instead. Uh-oh. Uh, that's scary. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. How do I use my, my flask and stuff? I don't know how to use these things. How do I use them? Uh, key bindings. Guard, use item R. Okay. Okay, use item as R. Yeah, let's move shift and tab here. Get rid of that. We'll just use the mouse for those two things. That way the shift and tab isn't constantly messing things up. Strong attack, guard, right, skill, use item as R. I still don't understand how to use our sorcery incantation. But okay, maybe it'll show us that later. Okay, so if I use... I'm afraid to use R to test this, but like, I should. I'll use it on this. Yeah, okay, that is what it does. Alright. So we wasted a little bit of possible EP FP, but... Let's go. Oh, that's so many blood stains. Soldier of Godric, there he is. Oh, hello. <laughs> Had me worried. Oh, man. You can perform a counterattack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Okay. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy's stance. Shift, right, left click immediately after blocking an attack to guard counter. Okay. Complicated, but okay. Why is it always weak foe? <laughs> True. Yeah, that was really easy, but, you know, I'm not here fighting that. I'm okay with it. No drop or anything? Okay. I nailed it. Yep, this is... Wait. This is a different corpse guy. Wait a second, how do I get to the other one? Strength in a moat, okay. Yeah, wait a second. How do I get there? Maybe we get there later? Because I don't see another way up there. Or maybe they're just taunting me. I don't know. But we definitely cleared out that little section, so let's go ahead and move forward, shall we? Uh, actually, I'm going to use that... Sight of Grace? No, I'm not, because we'd have to walk all the way back. I might regret that, but I think we're going to be fine. Okay. What are we working with? Some kind of mausoleum? Can I have skeletons or something? Hey, a Sight of Grace. Hell yeah. What? That's like untravelable? Untravelable or something? Oh, that's the imp's statue. That's one of the start things we could have had. Is that, does that have like bonus gear and stuff? Is that what's happening? Use the stone sword key? I don't have it. No, we could have gone in here. I don't know what's in there. I feel like, ah, oh, that's going to drive me nuts. Could be worth nothing, could be worth a lot. Cooperative multiplayer. Finger severer, tarnished furled finger. Use tarnished furled finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. Okay. You will take the role of an ally, furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner, host of fingers. Okay. Interesting. Definitely going to be curious and 
summoning help. In the time that I beat Bloodborne in nine lives, a big part of it was because I went into every boss with two people helping me. <laughs> How else are you supposed to do it? You know what I mean? Don't let me fool you into thinking that I beat Bloodborne in nine tries before I died zero times without summoning help. Because I definitely summoned help. Yeah, I'm gonna stop breaking all these things. Oh wait, we have like a sprint attack. Did you see that? Okay, cool, cool, cool. <sighs> yeah, okay. I'll believe it when I see it. You bastard. <laughs> Alright. And I think we're gonna take this elevator when we return. This was a good little introduction. Now nah, let's keep going. Oh. I can't even see how high up this is taking us. Well, damn. Okay. Behold, Tarnished. Time for Elden Ring. Time for Elden Ring, indeed. Oh, Limgrave. I got goosebumps from that. I'm so excited. Look at that gold knight in the background. There's our sight of grace. Oh, man. I'm so excited. I can't wait to dive into this with everybody. L massively looking forward to next time. Oh, God, that's good. All right. Wow. I'm, I'm going to stop right here. Uh, how do I save? I just realized I don't really have that, do I? What if I were to... Or do I have to be at a Shrine of Grace, maybe? Oh, man. Look at this game. It looks great. A giant tree? Bloodstain. Did you attack him or something? You probably shouldn't attack the first person next to you, huh? Okay. Okay. Grace exists to guide the Tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. So just follow the Grace, and you'll get there. Memorize a spell. Sort chest. Pastime. Flasks. Early day, the first... Wait, what? Add charge to flask? Oh, you need a golden seed to do that. Increase amount replenished. Sacred tier. Okay. Allocate flash charges. Oh, whoa. You can allocate the number of uses in each of your flasks. You have a set total of maximum, maximum flask uses. You can decide how many of those are use, uses are for the HP replenishing flask of Crimson Tears and how many are for the FP replenishing flask of Cerulean Tears. That's actually super interesting. As a mage, I feel like we should even that out, right? Let's do that. Confirm. That's really cool. Okay. With the memorized spells menu, you can mem teach me how to use them, please. You can memorize sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase your memory slots by maintaining a memory stone. Okay. So the pebble uses 84, and so does the arc. Fires magic projectiles from glintstone. Fires a horizontally winding magic arc. So that's like AoE. This is high single target. 7, 10. Okay. Alright, I wish I knew how to cast it, but okay. Sword chest. This menu, you can place items that you're carrying into the chest for storage, or take stored items out of the chest. If you're already carrying the maximum number of items, when you pick up a new item, it'll be stored in the chest automatically. Well, that's good that we won't ever have to leave anything behind. It'll just end up in our chest. It messages to other world, right? Sends another or oneself home. Creates a summon sign for cooperative multiplayer. Okay. Okay. Very good. We're so ready for this. We're gonna investigate the chapel, maybe. Another building over there. There were some eagles over here. I wonder if those are an enemy or not. And maybe... Well, that Golden Knight's probably an enemy, if we're being honest, but... I am so looking forward to this. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. 
Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey into Elden Ring. I can't wait to see how far we can make Typo last, and I am massively looking forward to it. So, I will see all of you very soon. Next time.